everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not really Nona Grace, am I? Oh, hello. Now this is Nona Grace. That other lady, she's the one that cleans the house, and she's not doing a very good job, so we're going to have to fire her. So how are you all today? I hope you're all good. I have to tell you, today I was going to try to open up the chicken, fences because I needed it mowed and so I thought well I'll just move the fence away and block the chickens so that they have a larger area. Well while I was moving the fence they all decided to come out of the fence and they were going across the driveway into the neighbor's field and then there was some of them were walking up on the hill and they were going behind my house and I could just see them going across the, the tree line there and going into the neighbor's yard and she's probably got a garden and that would be a disaster. So I opened up the, so I closed that gate up, got them all in. All of them went in real easy except for my really fat black hen. I don't, that one doesn't have a name. I don't, I just call it Blackie, but it's the big Blackie. Um, she would not go in every time, she ran past the door, the opening that I had there. She went past it probably four or five times and finally, finally, finally I opened the the main door and she, I got her to go that direction and she went in and then she went into the chicken, the enclosed chicken run. And then I opened up the upper part, not the lower part by the pine tree, the upper part so Jim could come in and mow with the riding mower. So I guess they're not going to free-range, free-range. And while I were free-ranging, what was in the sky? I saw five or four hawks. I think it was four hawks. They were, But they were very high up. But I think they were very high up because they were just scoping out the area. And they saw me. So they didn't stick around. Then they, they left. And I, So I closed the chickens back in. They've got their, their fenced-in area. The thing is, um, there's a lot of little... They fit through the darn openings, and they don't even get zapped because they are so little. They just pop right through. And um, the older, or the bigger hens, they don't try to go out, but Rosie goes out, Andy goes out, Silver flies over the fence, um, Dorothy flies up onto the fence, and then she flies back down in. The rooster flies up onto the fence and then flies back into the fenced area. And then some of um, Dorothy's little babies have been going through. And Emma's babies are always going through. So I have to, I, I corral them back in. So today I've got a lot of steps in because I was chasing chickens. And Brownie. And Brownie. Brownie goes up on the roof and then jumps mm -hmm. out. But Brownie knows how to fly back in. Where Silver always wants me to open the door for her. She will fly out over the fence, but she wants to come in through the door. So I open the door for her and let her in. And um, I was going to say something else and I forgot now. Oh dear, it was all about those chickens. Let me think a minute and I'll come right back. I am back, but I can't think of what I was going to say. So apparently it wasn't very important. So that is the video for... Oh, I'm going to put in a little clip right here. I did, You know, I watched... I, I'll put the clip in right here. We'll check the box. Nobody's in there. Let me check. Let's just open this. There's the baby bluebirds. Mama's above me. got to see my bluebirds. They're not very pretty when they don't have any feathers. But you know what? I was watching Rusty, the Ozark Duke, and he's got some bluebirds that have used his, uh, that is using his cans that he has. And um, they're the same bluebirds that we have, the eastern bluebird. So those bluebirds will actually come back every year. They're very, very, um, once they, they're, they're like mates for life too and they um, seem to come back to the same place once they find a home they always come back to that home so Rusty will probably have bluebirds every year now 
which will be great. And um, I guess that's all I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. Um, but he, watching sparrow. his video, huh? He's got a little sparrow. He's got on a the porch. sparrow in the porch. Yeah, we have a robin in our porch, but his sparrow doesn't fly out of the box, out of the birdhouse. It's getting used to him being there. My my robin gets nervous every time I go out. It's up in the gazebo, but it gets nervous and flies out of the nest. But there are two eggs. We know at least last time we looked, there was two eggs. I don't know if they've hatched yet or not. Haven't heard any mm -hmm. peeping. So I don't know if they have or not. But with seeing Rusty's bluebirds made me think I should go take a see what our bluebirds are doing. And they're not very pretty at all. They're, they're kind of homely right now. Well, I guess that is it. Enough chitty chatter today. And I'll get after that cleaning lady. <laughs> She's really got to clean this house. It's not getting done. So we'll talk to you all at another time.